Um, hey guys, let's do this maximum number of visible points together. Um, it's a hard question um, and it's often asked by Google. Um, some related topic is um, array, mass, geometry, sliding window, and sorting. Um, so let's look at these questions together. So we're given three variable points, um, angle, and the location. Um, so point is an array, array of point, and angle is an integer, and location. Um, so basically, you're standing at a location, um, and you were not able to move from your location, but you can rotate. Um, and location and angle. So it's asking you um, the maximum number of points you can see. Um, so basically, um, let's say if we, that's our locations. And if there are just a bunch of points, If there are just a bunch of points and you're given an angle, right? So let's say this is the angle that you're able to see. So in, in here, you are able to see two, two points. And if you rotate here, let's say you're able to see three points. And then you just keep, keep rotating until um, you until you finish rotating and you've, you wanted to return the max point. In, in your uh, field of view. Um, so to start with, um, we can just um, think there are just two cases, right? So um, we, we might have some points that's at a location. Um, so it means um, if the points are at a location, you can always see those points, right? So matter, um, no matter where you're like, how do you rotate, you're always going to see those points. So you don't really need to check if um, those points are in, in, in the uh, field of view, right? So you can just use a constant to count all those points that's all other locations, and then just add them to the final results. And for those points that are not other locations, you wanted to calculate the angle, right? Um, and because they are given the angle that they give us, it's a um, it's in degree. So you wanted to calculate the angle in degree, um, and then you wanted to save all those angles in in an array. And then you also wanted to sort that array, and then just use a sliding window technique to find a maximum result that we can get. And at the end, the result will just be the count, which is um, how many points are at a location. So you can always see those points. So it will be count plus the results. So the result will be um, those visible points that is not at the location. So uh, with count plus results, that will be uh, overall visible points um, at this location. So, um, so I think we can just, um, just start defining. So we just say, um, let dx dy equal to location, All right? So that's the location you're at. I'm just using dx and dy to represent um, x and y. So um, we know that we need a count to count those points that is our locations. And we also need an array to save those um, um, the angles in degrees uh, between each point that is not a location. So um, we're just going to check every point here. So for X and Y of points, right? So if, um, if we say if this X is equal to DX and this Y is equal to DY, if they're both equals, that means this point is at a location, right? So we're going to um, update our counts. Else, that means is not a location, so we want to construct our array. So array push. So we wanted to push the um, 
the 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 angle, right? So how do we actually calculate the angle? So we know that between um, two points, let's say if if this point is our um, location, so this is dx dy, and the another point is our um, um, points, right? Let's call this x and y. We wanted to find a theta here. So we know that tangent, let's just move this. We know that uh, tangent is equal to the opposite divided by adjacent, right? So our opposite is actually just y minus dy. And our uh, adjacent is um, x minus dx. So that's our tangent theta. So we, we want a theta, right? We don't want tangent. So we're just going to take an arc tangent of it. So arc tangent is basically this tangent minus 1. If we take this on both sides, we are going to get this y dy, x minus dx, x. So this will just be theta. So it's the angle that we want. Uh, let's call this arc tangent arc tangent of y minus dy x minus dx so arc tangent it's actually there is a function called uh, mass dot arc tangent 2 and then y minus dy x minus dx this is actually just delta right um but the one issue is this delta is actually radius so it's a radius. We wanted to convert it to degree instead of uh, radius, right? So um, um, what, what we can do is we can use this formula here, degree um, divided by, uh, degree is equal to 180 divided by pi times radius. So how do we actually get this, um, this equation? So um, let's say if we have a circle and this circle is two pi, right? Um, so this is radius. And then we can say 360 degree. This is degrees, right? So if we have a, a theta, then the theta divided by two pi is going to be the ratio of this angle um, with respect to, to the, the whole circle. And similarly, if we need a degree, let's call this x. This is a degree that we want. Divided by 360, it's going to give us the exactly same ratio. Um, just move this. Okay. So if we just times 360 times delta is equal to 2 pi x, right? So x is just going to be this divided by 2 pi. No, let's just write it more clearly. So 360 theta divided by 2 pi. This is the degree that we want, degree, right? So we say x is equal to um, 3 60 theta divided by 2 pi, which is 180 uh, theta divided by pi. So this is um, how, how this formula, how do we get this formula basically, right? So once we have this mass uh, attention to, we can just times 180, right? This, this theta is basically just mass uh, arc tangent to y minus dy, x minus dx. We just need to times 180 and then divide it by pi. Then we can get um, the, the angle we want. Um, so here, we are going to say, um, this is, we wanted to push this mass dot uh, arc tangent to, and then y minus dy, x minus um, dx. 
um, so that's our radius and then we want to times 180 and then divide it by mass dot pi I think it's capital pi okay so this is the um, array it will have um, array of angle so now um, we wanted to so we, we wanted to also check in this array if any of the angle is negative right if it's negative we wanted to add 360 so we say for um, a of array so each angle um, sorry, of array so um, for each angle if this angle is less than zero um, we wanted to push this a plus 360 so we're gonna get a, a positive degree and then now we wanted to sort it um, a b a minus b so we wanted to sort this array from small to large and then we can perform a, a sliding window so how is how is this sliding window going to work so let's say we first um, have left and right both both starting with zero right and then we just wanted to check okay now now i have one point right and then um and then i would just move my right um right and then i have two points and i move my right i have three points and i'll continue move to here and i found that 90 divided by zero is actually 90 degree but the degree that i, I can view is actually um just 70 right i think this is called angle So the angle I can view it's only 70. Right, so so now you have um four um points that you are able to see. And when you move to here to this 90, uh, you actually need um a 90 uh angle to be 90 to be able to see, right? But your angle is only 70, so it's not possible. So you actually have to move the, the left hand left hand side so now let's say zero you can see it right so you you're actually updating to here so 90 minus 20 is in the range of 70 so you're able to see all those four and then you're going to keep moving to here and then you notice that 120 minus 20 is 100 but you only have 70 so you're going to move again use this so you're gonna move this to 30 and you realize 120 minus 30 is 90 so it's not possible so you're gonna move to 40 and then um 120 minus 40 is uh 80 right so it's still not possible so you're gonna move to here so now you only have two points and then you're gonna continue move to here 90 120 and 200. So 200 minus 90 is one, uh, 110, right? It's still, um, it's not possible. So you're gonna move to to this two, right? Um, but this two, the difference 80. So it's also not possible. So now you only have one point, right? In your view. And then you move to here you, you found, okay, now the difference is 70, so I can see this, both of these two points. So this is how you use a sliding window technique to see how many points are in your view, right? So you're going to um, just updating the, the results. Um, so updating the maximum. So here, our case, the maximum will be 4, right? It's at the beginning. We have this 4 points that's going to be our maximum so later if we um, perform our sliding window if we found anything um, that has points that's more than four we'll update if not we're just gonna 
um, keep our, our current max. So what we can do here is we can say just let left and right both equal to zero, and that's that result equal to zero as well. All right. So while this right is less than array dot length, right, we're gonna keep updating the right. We're gonna update the right, right, and then we also wanted to check the left, right. So if we say while array right is uh, minus array left is greater than the angle. That means not possible, right? So we're gonna update the left hand side, just like well, how we update here. Like um, if so, we reach to ninety, right? And then we realize this ninety, so array right minus array left, which is zero, is uh, ninety is greater than the angle, right? And angle is seventy. So we're gonna update the left. So left will now point to this twenty. And then we're just gonna check if if those um, array right minus array left is greater than angle, right? So at least at, at 12, at 20, um, the difference is exactly 70, so we're good, okay? So we're gonna say results, it's gonna be equal to um, max dot maximum of this results or left minus, uh, uh, right minus left plus one. So, um, Let's say you are uh, at um, at 90, right? 90 is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's 4. And then left, it's 1. So you're going to have 4 minus 1, which is 3, plus 1. So it's exactly four, 4 points here. So 20, 30, 40, 0. So you're going to update if this left minus uh, right um, if this right minus left plus one is greater than your current uh, re results, right? And then after that, you're gonna just update the right. Okay, and then returns. So this result is um, is the visible points not at the location, right? So we're gonna add this result and also the count. So count is the points L locations. So you want to plus those two together. Okay, now let's run it. Um, okay, let's see. And then let's submit. Okay, I think this is good. Okay, thank you for watching.